Daily Gospel Reading and Reflection 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time From the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 25, verse 14 until 30 Jesus told his disciples this parable A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one to each according to his ability, then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went, and traded with them, and made another five. Likewise, the one who received made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground, and buried his master's money. After a long time the master of those servants came back, and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents, see, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me the talents, see, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back, his master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank? so that I could have got it back with interest on my return, now then. Take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Words of the Holy Father The man in the parable represents Jesus, we are the servants. And the talents are the inheritance that the Lord entrusts to us. What is the inheritance? His word, the Eucharist, faith in the Heavenly Father, His forgiveness. In other words, so many things, His most precious treasures. This is the inheritance that he entrusts to us, not only to safeguard, but to make fruitful. While in common usage the term talent indicates a pronounced individual quality, for example talent in music, in sport, and so on. In the parable, talent represent the riches of the Lord, which he entrusts to us so that we make them bear fruit. The hole dug into the soil by the wicked and slothful servant points to the fear of risk which blocks creativity and the fruitfulness of love because the fear of the risks of love stop us. Jesus does not ask us to store his grace in a safe. Jesus does not ask us for this, but he wants us to use it to benefit others. All the goods that we have received are to give to others and thus they increase as if he were to tell us. Here is my mercy, my tenderness, my forgiveness, take them and make ample use of them, and what have we done with them? Whom have we infected with our faith? How many people have we encouraged with our hope? How much love have we shared with our neighbor? Today's Prayer In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you with gratitude for the precious inheritance you have entrusted to us your word, the Eucharist faith, and forgiveness. Help us to recognize that 
These treasures are not meant to be stored safely, but to be invested in the lives of others. Grant us the courage to overcome the fear of risks, to dig deep into the soil of our hearts, and make your riches bear fruit in acts of love and kindness. May we be faithful stewards, using the talents you've given us to infect others with faith, encourage them with hope, and share abundant love with our neighbors. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.